Okay, so just over seven hours ago, um, they announced that it is now safe to update your game to 1.20. So BMBF is working with version 1.20 of Beat Saber. Um, this was posted at 12.08 today for me. So that's, yeah, 7.34 now. Um, said so BMBF 1.15 works for the latest version of the game. If you're updating from 1.17 or later, then you will not need to update BMBF. Uh, and then just a few steps there on how to do that. Uh, so yeah, it is now working with the latest version of Beat Saber, which is pretty cool. Um, let's take a look on the BSMG Discord. Um, so you'll see now the Quest Mods 1.19.1 channel has gone. It only lasted a few days. Um, and then now there is just a Quest Mods channel. Um, and since obviously we're we're now on the latest version of Beat Saber, there's no need for it to be numbered. Uh, unlike the PC version there, by the looks of it, it's still on the previous uh, version. Um, so let's have a look at the Quest Mods that are available. Um, core Mods, obviously. Thick Saber. Uh, search fixes, no promo, um, thin sabers, vent, um, any tweaks. This is the new version of Ike tweaks. Um, so the, this is all your sort of lighting and uh, bloom and stuff like that. Um, renamed, updated for 120, removed the Kawasi Bloom, I think th this is the Bright Bloom, they took offence to me using this on, a f on some of my old videos. Um, new UI, each category now has a description, I did a donate button, a lot of other things. Uh, See, so yeah, that's, that's one of the big mods that's come out there, it's pretty cool. Chat UI, and that's it for the moment. Um, but considering it's only been out for seven or so hours, that's... Uh, it's a pretty good uh, turnout so far. Um, we'll take a look over on the quest board. Um, so let me just refresh this. Uh, so the quest board still hasn't been updated yet. So at the moment it's saying the latest model of a version is 1.90.1, but it is now 9, uh, 120. Uh, so yeah. And the release mods showing there are still just the core mods, although I think even once this does update, it'll still just show the core mods for quite a while. Um, so let's take a look at the 1.53 patch, so that's 1.20, so it's OST5, new sliders, new lighting system, um, so you've got the uh, six songs there for OST5, and let's have a look at this, uh, new environment, uh, new note type, the arc, a uh, long sliding beam that extends between notes. And the new note type, the chain notes, they're like the little sort of stacked notes. Um, or sliders, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing people are calling them. Um, scoring on the back end has been changed. Uh, added slanted diagonal arrowless notes. Performance improvements, negative offset. Beat map data structure has been majorly reworked. And small tweaks and bug fixes. So, yeah, you can now play this version alongside uh, custom songs and the few mods that have been released so far. Um, that's about it, I just wanted to get this out there since um, it's just updated so people can uh, make a decision if they want to up update or not. Um, I'll be holding out a little bit longer until there's some mods like cosmetics and um, a few other things like quest sounds and stuff like that and the render mod obviously from Henwell. But once all those are available, um, I'll also be updating to this. Uh, I think this will probably be the main version for quite a while now. And hopefully, now that they've caught up to the latest version, it should remain that way for the, f for the future. Fingers crossed. So yeah, uh, that's about it. And thanks. Thank you.